Hi, I'm Terry from Jimmy Beans Wool, and today I'm here to show you how to knit the brioche cowl that will be in our July 2016 large beanie bag. And if you haven't done brioche before, this is going to be a very good experience for you because it's a really fun stitch to do. One of the nice things about it is it makes a fully reversible fabric. Let's see? It's a light side and a dark side. And here in my sample, you can see I've got a light side and also have a dark side. Now, this is a Plymouth pattern, number uh, F729. Uh, and our own beloved Jeannie Giles has adapted it for our beanie bag. And so it's going to be a little different than, um, than the full pattern that says. But there's some things that you should know about brioche. Um, when you're knitting brioche in the round, for every round that you can count or see in a knit stitch, it actually requires two rounds of working the project. There will be one row that round that is knit and one round that will be working the purl stitches. Now, the brioche knit and the purl are a little different, so I'll get to that in a minute when I start demonstrating. But one of the other things, no matter whether which hand you're working with or which stitch you're working with, all the stitches when you slip them are going to be slipped purl-wise. So you're going to insert the needle into the stitch as if to purl and just slip it off the needle. And one of the things that we want to recommend is um, be frugal with your tails when you have the yarn. We've included a lot of yarn in the beanie bags, but we don't want you to run out, so don't leave um, super long tails. And if you're concerned about running out, try a knitted or a cabled cast on rather than a long tail cast on to be conservative with your yarn. Um, so uh, we're not gonna be demonstrating the cast ons today, but we have some great videos on our website showing you how to do both the knitted and the cabled cast on if you haven't done those. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to work brioche in the round using the continental method. So when you're adding your next color, you just bring the yarn to the front, so the working yarn's in the front, and being that I'm continental knitting this time, I'm going to tension it over here so it's in the front. And I'm going to slip the first stitch purlwise off the needle. And I'm going to take the yarn around the needle and then purl the next stitch. The yarn's in the front, so I'm going to slip, bring the yarn over the needle, back to the front. And I'm using my right index finger to hold that yarn over on top of that stitch so you don't lose it and then I'm purling. And then we're slipping, taking the yarn over the needle, holding on to it, and purling. Okay, some more yarn here. So my yarn's in the front, slipping purlwise, yarn over, holding on to that yarn over, and then purling. Slip, yarn around the needle, and purl slip, yarn over, and then back to the front, or yarn around, you can say it either way. And then as we're coming to the end of the round, we're slip, bringing the yarn forward, slipping, and knitting. Bring the yarn forward, slip, knit. Bring the yarn forward, slip, and knit. You can see it's a pretty quick motion. one more so we're bringing the yarn forward slippy oops excuse me nope that is the end of the round so now we're ready to change so now let me show you how to do the cable and continental style so I'm going to switch to the larger project here and I've got this one all set here and we're going to slip the first four stitches which are going to be six strands of yarn so there's your knit stitch with its little shawl, the purl stitch, the knit stitch with its little shawl, and the purl stitch. We're going to hold them in the front. And then we're going to move right on into knitting the next one. So the last one I did over here was a slip. There's our yarn over, holding on to it. Knit these, bring them close, create that knit stitch, snug it up if you need to. Then bring the yarn forward, purl, and yarn around the needle and knit, yarn forward, slip, 
and there's our four. Now we're going to move back to the front one. And we're going to knit. Bring the yarn forward. Slip as if to purl. Knit the next one and make sure that that third stitch there that's going to be the purl or the slip stitch is not caught up with these. That was one of the things I've noticed could be easily done. Bring the yarn forward and then slip that final one. Put the cable needle aside and take the yarn over and knit your next stitch. So that's how you cable in brioche. So that's how you knit in the round in the brioche stitch and how you cable. As you can see it creates some lovely little cables. There's on the light colored side and then there's the dark colored side. And in the completed cowl, there's our dark colored side and our light colored side. Things to remember, this is don't knit tightly. It's okay for this to be a nice loose knit and it will drape beautifully and we hope you enjoy it and if you have any questions you just let us know. Thanks for watching.